What makes a biscuit a biscuit? And what makes a cake a cake? Some would say that a biscuit goes soggy when it's stale, and a cake goes hard. All fair enough. But Jaffa Cakes had people wondering so much that in 1991, Jaffa Cakes were taken to court. The reason? Tax. In the UK, there is VAT, Value Added Tax, on chocolate covered biscuits and not on chocolate covered cakes. McVitie's listed Jaffa Cakes as cakes. The clue's in the name. HMRC, however, were not convinced and took them to court. So, in defense of Jaffa Cakes, biscuits usually snap and are crunchy. Jaffa Cakes are a bit soggy. Jaffa Cakes have the same ingredients as a cake. When they're stale, they become firm, just like a cake. And as we've covered, they're called cakes! So, on the other side of the fence, Jaffa Cakes are always found in the biscuit aisle and not the bakery section. Jaffa Cakes have a cake bar, which implies the Jaffa Cakes themselves are not cakes. They're packaged similarly to biscuits and are eaten with your hands and not a fork like cakes are normally, apparently. As you can see, some hard-hitting truths from the not-a-cake crowd. A government spokesperson said, Customs and Excise has accepted since the start of the AT that Jaffa Cakes were zero rated as cakes but always had misgivings about whether this was correct. During the trial, Jaffa Cakes were assessed using the following criteria. The ingredients, the texture, the texture of the product when it goes stale, the structure of it, how it's sold, the size of it, and how it's marketed. McVitie's even baked a giant Jaffa Cake during the trial to just show that it is actually just a cake. The court found in favor of McVitie's and stated that Legally, Jaffa Cakes are considered a cake, which means that McVitie's doesn't have to pay VAT on Jaffa Cakes in the UK.